one, two, one, two, ready? Uh, I really don't know how I would be in college right now if it weren't for the band. All Cassie Marshall wants to do is play, not for herself, but for her team. Over the past two years, the marching band has seen cut after cut on its budget. Troy Benefield is the director of athletic bands for WSU and knows all too well how important funding can be to the growing program. Before I got here, we had 125 members, and this year we're at 240. And so being able to grow has 100% been from SNA fees. Uh, so now our SNA fees are about 70% of our budget. SNA fees, or service and activity fees, fund more than just the marching band. To put it simply, wherever a student may be, it's likely because of a fee. To keep up day-to-day -day operations, there's no way around it. This fee is mandatory. Or is it? Last semester, the S&A committee, including ASWSU President Quentin Percumbus, noticed an odd trend. Looking at enrollment numbers, which last year we had the largest class ever in Pullman, and looking at kind of the revenue that was coming in, um, it was kind of odd because we had the highest fee ever, the most students ever, yet we weren't bringing in the same amount of revenue as the year before. Um, and the answer that we had always been just given was fee waivers. So what's the big deal? After all, students are still paying less, so who cares where the money is being waived? Well, you'd be surprised how one fee can cause all of these student organizations to lose out on over $1 million. Resources that serve students are now facing drawbacks. One of the things that we asked for was $18,000 to purchase wheelchairs, to introduce wheelchair sports programming. Students are left in the dark. I mean, it's a shame to hear that like money's not going to where you know students are hoping to see it. Marshall is performing with less and less. I don't know. I don't want to know what, what it would be like to not be in band, even though it does. Sorry, I actually get emotional when I think about it sometimes. Um, but yeah. Phil Weiler is the Vice President for Marketing and Communications at WSU and discusses how his solution is not so black and white. And again, the alternative really would be to say to the student who receives financial aid, We'll reduce your tuition, but you have to pay your full freight for SNA fees. I don't think that's fair. When one student is paying uh, or is getting their SNA fees waived, um, that means all other students are paying more and their services are being cut. Burke Compass says that the university administration is aware of the concern and pledges to stop waiving fees by 2021. And when administrators are the ones stepping in waiving fees and circumventing that process, I think it's really undermining that authority of students to make those decisions of what our student experience here at WSU should be and what that really consists of. Maybe then Benefield can purchase new uniforms and the marching band can continue what they do best, spread the Cougar spirit. Jane McDonald, Murrow News 8.